Hi, I'm Paris, and for the first time in a while, I went into the As Seen on TV aisle at our local store to see if there are any new products out that make claims that have you thinking, how does that really work? Well, I found a few new items, and the first one I'm going to review I have right here. The As Seen on TV One Power Readers. It says that they adjust to the strength that your eye needs. How exactly does that work? Epic review. I've needed reading glasses for the better part of 10 years, so I have quite a bit of experience with them. And sadly, I just got my first pair of prescription glasses. But that's good because it used to be when I would review these glasses, my comparison was between my fuzzy vision and using the glasses. And usually the glasses were better, but now I've got really good, perfect for my eye quality glasses, as well as Another pair of adjustable glasses. These aren't readers, but um, I had my daughter who wears glasses for distance vision try them out, and they actually work. There's a little knob. You adjust the, uh, I guess, the shape of the lens. So these actually did work for her. And a pair of, I guess you'd call them multifocal glasses. These have different bands of strength built into the lenses. So depending on where you're looking through them, the distance of what you see that's in focus changes. And my thinking is these must be something along this line. Let's take a close-up look at what the claims are made by the One Power glasses and give them a try. Here in the gray, it's mentioned that the powers of these glasses range from plus 0.5 to plus 2.5. It does mention here that it adjusts to your strength and that it adjusts to different strengths depending on your need. How does it know what I need? $15 for a set of mind-reading glasses. You can find out more about them at the link down below this video. I have quite a collection of reading glasses from different pairs that I have reviewed. But I found with reading glasses, you do need them everywhere because you never know where you'll be when you will need them. I'm hoping that this little clip that I wear, it's called a reader rest. I reviewed it in a different video. Double magnetic piece here gives you a place to just hang your reading glasses onto so they're easy to grab, put on, do your reading, take them off, put them right back here, and you always have the same pair with you. Hoping that will work out for me. Not bad looking glasses. But I don't see any switches or knobs or levers or any way that you can change the lens. Okay, I guess it is going to read my mind. Well, that actually puts things in focus out at a fair distance here. Let's get the smallest print. It's blurry there. I can read it there. I'm looking right through the center. Oh, it's going out of focus here. Um, more out of focus, looking through the very bottom. Better focus, better focus, better focus. Oh, good. Here's a close up look at the readers. You can see no adjustment knobs or switches. So I think that answers the question that they're actually very similar to these multi-zone glasses. They have zones built in where the magnification strength is different. I'll use them to read the instructions and see if there's anything I'm missing. Well, there's no information on how to activate the adjustment feature, but as I just mentioned, I'm pretty sure you simply move your head and that does the trick. So I'll test them out a little now and compare them to the glasses that were made specifically for my eyes. These are about a plus um, 2.0, I think and I have a slight astigmatism, so the, the lenses aren't exactly the same. So I'm going to, so you can see the distance that it works. Let's, I'm looking through the very center of the lenses now, and it's in focus here. Starting to get blurry here. What are we, about eight, 10 inches? And then I'll pull it away, still in focus, still in focus, starting to get blurry. So that's the range for looking through the center. I'm going to look to the bottom of the lenses Right about there, it gets blurry. So about six inches. Oh, perfect focus, yeah, mm-hmm. Good, 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 good. Back to being blurry at that distance. And now through the top of the lens. Okay, now I'm in focus here. Oh, that's not very deep at all. Right around there is in focus. Past that, it's getting blurry. And it's getting blurry here. So I guess that would be your computer reading distance as you have your head tip down, you look through the top of them and mid-range here and close-up work, you go like that. Comparing them to my glasses. Doesn't, shouldn't matter where I look. Okay, let's go for close first. Blurry, blurry, yep, blurry. Okay, 
I am in focus here. That's about the eight inches, about the same as the center of those glasses. And focus, 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 focus. Okay, getting blurry again. Yeah, it's pretty close to the center zone of these glasses. The One Power readers are $15 glasses. As I remember, I paid about 30 for these that do the same thing. The sides are all wobbly. This is kind of what gives me a headache why I decided to go ahead and get the prescription filled for these that are just right for my eyes because I get the headache pretty quick when I, if I move my head around at all wearing the reading glasses usually. Okay, yeah, and at the bottom it's in focus right here out to here. Now it's blurry. You're looking at the center. I got to get further away. Now it's in focus and it stays in focus out to about here. So it's the same idea. There are basically zones built into the lens that provide those different powers. The last pair of glasses I'll show you are the dial of vision and you really do dial them. There's an actual knob connected to each lens. So each one you can independently dial and change the strength of the lens to suit your eyes. But this is for distance vision. I've never seen a pair of reading glasses that are adjustable where you can dial in the power. I'm not sure why they can't provide that. I kind of like that better because you can personalize it for each eye and a number of people have the issue where one eye is a little bit stronger than the other. And um, unless you take <laughs> these and put them on your face like this, so you're looking through the different zones with each eye, I'm not sure how you can adjust for that. So the One Power readers do provide different powers through the lenses, but there's no adjustment that goes on. So you have your computer focus zone, and you, if you tip your head, you have your reading zone, you have your close-up work zone. But for an inexpensive pair of multi-zone, multi-focus glasses, these are okay for 15 bucks. I just wish on the box they explained that's really what they were. Find out more about them at the link down below this video, and I'll see you more clearly than ever on the next review. Epic review guys Wanna watch it all